Jackal also making some crazy wins. 3-0-ing, 3-0-ing, 3-0-ing everybody in the losers. And now we get to see uh, is, this is not a run back. It's the next set, right? That's a run back. No, yeah, this yeah. is not a run back. This is this is the first time these two are meeting today, and you got two invaders in the mix right now. Uh, one of them will be going home. One of them will be sticking around in Portland, Oregon, for a little bit longer. You got Jackal representing the tri-state area. You got Base Mage, best buff player in the world from Arizona. Let's get into it. Top eight of major upset. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You spin all not all facts, but we got Jackal, like you said, versus Base Mage. The best Jigglypuff in the world right now, and Jackal, a contender for being some of the one of the best wolves Ultimate has had in its history. Yeah, just to, to enunciate that point, Jackal, the only wolf player in bracket, out, out at ninth, not making the top eight cut. This is a really, really interesting matchup because every time I see Puff, I'm always thinking about how does Puff get those early, early kills? How does ah! he get those early? Oh, he's done some labbing. I didn't even know that was true. Speaking of early kills. Jackal definitely knows what he needs to do to make this character work. And now, contrary to what you guys might be expecting here in the PNW, uh, with a player like Ouch, who plays so aggressive on the Wolf, from back at Tri-State, we're all afraid of Jackal because he likes to play a very cerebral style. He likes to read your options, make sure he knows how to make you panic, and when you least expect it, he will take you off the top of that up air. But the thing is, the same thing can be said for Base Mage as well. Both of these characters have really fast air speeds, right? And they just love dragging from across the stage, but, oh yeah, there it is, Wolf's recovery. Not the best in the world, so Jigglypuff will have no problems getting that early kill. Good first suck coming on to Base Mage, and now we're going for a little bit of a run with that down air. Okay, that could have been really bad, Earth. Yeah, I, one of the things that Jackal has to be scared of is getting off stage. Forward throw from Puff has really, really high base knockback, so if you get grabbed in the corner, you're going to be eating a lot of percent, or you're going to be put in that situation where you get hit by Nair over and over and over mm. again. Just like I said, off stage, but that up being going to get out, and the reversal coming from Jackal, keeping it even, keeping it competitive. Yeah, you know, that recovery being so linear from Wolf gives Base Mage quite a lot of opportunity to move around out there. I mean, that's how we lost the first dog here behind Jackal. He was uh, completely edge guarded by Base Mage. Very easily, he couldn't even get through with a wolf flash. That time around, he came back on stage aggressively through the back air because he knew base base was going back in high. That was a lot of damage coming on from Jackal. 53% off of some really good conversions. Now, it's not looking good for base mage because Jilly Puff is very light. One of the latest characters in the game. Watch out for that back air. Oh, good stuff. I'm seeing base mage trying to take good control of the center stage, right? Because that's where you want to dominate. But that back air, that aerial smash attack, going to take base mage straight out of here as Jackal steals the lead away from base mage. Yeah, I've been watching Jackal play outside in pools. His recoveries, for one, have been really good, really creative. So a lot of the times he isn't getting gimped. His combo oh. game also really good. I'm pretty sure you still have his jump. Great usage. Mixed oh, up no. the timing, oh. but that isn't going to save you. Can't have two jumps. And base mage, keep it one to one. Buff can. Buff, buff, buff can. Buff oh, can. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Just like in the olden times, if you are playing a spacey, you will get edge guarded by Puff. I don't write the rules, but they keep rewriting themselves, baby. Yeah, we just had top eight of Melee uh, earlier, so shout out to all the Melee production, and I think uh, it was uh, Cody Schwab that ended up winning that, so that was really cool, but we only care about who wins this one right here. This is actually very close. I love seeing these two characters fight each other. Back air, luckily Puff can really go really, really high to avoid getting hit by those back air tricks. Down air into rest. Nope, there's that forward air. Not gonna go for the edge guard they're looking for. It's gonna be really bad for base man. Oh Doesn't my god! That. He gets the side special, gets the wolf flash, and that's gonna be game number one going to Jackal. He low key stole, stole that from him. Rising weak hit Nair into wolf flash, guys. This Jackal's playing on a whole nother level. He's tonight. been labbing like my boy Earth said, bro. I mean, it's the, th the thing is, is Jackal, this entire game, he's kind of controlling that airspace with that back air. We saw when. Base mage was at that 70 80% range. Jackal started spamming it. Spamming back air. Spamming back air. Dude, Tekken music Tekken coming four, in. Tekken 4, well. baby, let's go. Tekken music makes everyone's head start. Oh, by. yeah, look at the look at the crowd Tekken right now. Tekken 4, baby, this shit. let's go. <laughs> Yo, TK, uh, what he'll do is he'll always put Tekken music. Oh, I love this song so much. But we got Final Destination here. This is going to be awesome. Flat stage, no platforms, really fast airspeed characters, high octane action momentum here at Major Upset, people. I'm really liking this pick coming in from Base Mage. Uh, I think platforms are something that Jackal played around incredibly well last time. It allowed him to get a little bit more air verticality to try to keep it Base Mage up in the sky. This time, he's going to be having to land on the ground, which is a little bit more difficult, but it's not going to give Jackal as much dominance over the airspace. I quite like this pick. 
Yeah, Puff is kind of stubby outside of spacing with that back air. I like Jackal's usage of these nares. He's using it to just kind of control the center of the stage. Like, like we were kind of pointing out, it's a lot about stage control. And Jackal's kind of playing that game perfectly, but that's what I was talking about. Grabbing the corner, having to burn your jump early. Ah. And that's going to be an early edge guard dying at 65. Basically taking an early lead. I was thinking about, okay, so I like how he likes to save his jump during that last situation. He'll wolf flash if the time needs. Oh, no, it's going to be a lot of damage in a really bad spot situation. We saw the wolf flash come out from Jackal, but base mage not going to get what they're looking for. Good for the sing off stage. Back air, back air. I dare you to jump versus me. Oh, there it is. Hey, eventually, if you throw it out, it will work eventually, you know what I'm saying? So, good stuff going on to Jackal getting those back airs. It's all part of Jackal's cerebral conditioning game. We see this all the time back at Tri-State. He loves to just throw out options that don't hit, and when you least expect it, he throws out an air. True combos into his back air. He doesn't need to do it raw. Sometimes he can set up for it. And that's the game. That's the, that's the spacing game, right? We have Wolf, such a good character. Uh, actually uh, has this joints using that fair up air nair. Nice, 56%. Just waiting. Base mage kind of panicking that situation up in that close scramble. And that's really scary. I mean, if Wolf ever conditions you to start spot dodging multiple times. Oh, Whoa, that didn't hit. What? Man, just barely whipped on the timing. There's very few iframes remaining on that roll. But base mage thinking his lucky stars. He's holding on to the stock. The bro had like two seconds, of, like 0.2 seconds of iframes left, bro. His soul left his body on that one, Herb. Oh, that could have been really good back air, but he didn't actually go for the edge guard. Good back air again, 127%. Can he make it back on stage safe and sound? Good, just off to get back. Get back to safety, don't try to fight him back. Oh, but this forward tilt coming off from Jew Jackal Harris is doing so much for him right now. And there's that situation, but base mage not having that air, kind of air acceleration. <laughs> Dash attack popping, <laughs> base mage off the top. This is kind of the really scary thing. Base mage can't get these early kills, but Jackal, as long as he has that center stage and can get these combos started, dash attack, uh, down throw, dash attack, uh, fair, uh, into a second fair, but there's that frame trap. No, no follow up. But again, one combo does around 50% for Jackal in this matchup, but now base mage is that kill percent. Fair, back air, all kill. So base mage has to be really, really careful trying to claw his way back into this game, has that lift trap situation, but it doesn't always pan out because oh Jackal is fighting God. back. Base mage just cannot run. He's trying to use his... <laughs> yeah, no, he can't do that. He was trying to use his, his usually heavily prioritized attacks to get through the wall that Jackal put up, but Jackal's moves are slightly disjointed with those claws, and that back air, it comes out really quick, does so much damage, just basically an aerial smash attack. Yeah, those are trades you just really don't want to deal with the really no. buff, right? You're like, you know, I could take some trades, but I gotta say, Jackal's doing a really good job of just not being escorted off stage, right? And that's what sets him up against some of the, you know, the other wolves, right? He's so good at mixing up ways to get back on stage. And, oh, I love this song as all well. Right, all, all my right. Raw fans, bro, but no, he's doing such a good job of just making sure that if he gets on, off stage, he maneuvers way back. You know, with that side special, yeah, if he, he gets it, he, he has the back. jump. Yep. He it, trips back, saves his mm -hmm. jump, right? That's how he stays alive. And this is looking really par for the course about Jackal's entire loser's run. I mean, 2-0 oh and 3-0 oh and a handshake. Yep. Could it be? I mean, now he base mage has to fight through multiple counter picks. And still, even on your stage, getting those multiple fares, 35%. 44% stacking, and we haven't really talked about laser in this matchup. Even if Puff wants to stay on the ground, it's not like he can contest too much with the laser projectile being so active. Yeah. Oh, I think the keys of victory here for Jackal Boys is that he's gonna. Thank you, thank you, production. Uh, he's gonna need to stay a little bit more on stage until he gets Jackal off stage. Then he's gonna need to pursue, and he needs to really sink those edge guards up. When he's on the ground, he's gotta pay a lot of attention oh. to his defenses as well, because I feel like he's getting caught out in the air too oh. much. Oh, yeah. gonna get caught out in the air, though. Yeah. It's a no-fly zone over base mage. Yeah, put your ass to sleep, buddy boy. This ain't, oh, okay, this ain't try saying my brother. Anyways, I'm, I'm about to escort you to that blast zone. Nope, gets that down air. Is that gonna be it? Oh, so, oh that's oh, your jump. jump. Put your jump back, yep. boy. Wait, three stuck? Wait a second, no, 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 no. No stocks taken? Okay, wait, wait, Jackal might have something to say about that. Base Mace turning up the heat real quick. He did have two games to adjust. What There's an air that dodge. down air. There's that down air again. Okay, he's safe. Safe for now, but Jackal so far has been always taking the front foot in this race. Jackal just kind of got a lot of opening early leads, and you know, I say get up attack is a get out of free jail card, but base mage didn't cash it in at the right time, but it doesn't seem to matter as he's stacking up that percent, 43%. One more fair, one more nair combo. Ah, oh, or rest! Okay. Ignore all of that, skip all the steps. Just go for falling up air into rest, the classic male. Yeah, yeah neutral and air, just, or up air rest. Oh, <laughs> like yeah, like yeah. that works, it kills mad early, and finally base mage is on the board, one, two, against so Jackal. Exclusive. With a two stock, nonetheless. That's Actually, true. a JV three stock, to be oh. completely real with you. Oh shit, you're right. I didn't think about and that. And I raise you. Here's Ooh. the thing, dude. I, and, and, and that's what I was saying about, about Base Mage. If he gets Jackal off stage, 
it can snowball so heavily in his favor. Stage. He just got a couple good spot dodge reads. Yeah. Maybe he was just talking them in the set. I mean, this is kind of where you need to pull out those pocket reads now. Got those two falling up airs into rest, killing him at 50. And just a couple of nice positionings me meant that Jackal couldn't really follow up afterwards. And here's another strong start having to burn that air dodge. That's a completely new mix up. So now Basement has to throw that into his calculations. I'm going to wait sometimes. I'm going to sit close to the ledge. Oh my god, he's still trying to go for it. That was really dangerous. And during that last game, right, we saw him use that soft foot of Nair to just kind of drag him off stage, too. So if Jackal can just really find a way to just, you know, save his jump, he's fine. But I think the thing about Jackal is he has to make up for these air situ or these ground situations as well, where he's on stage, where he can get those grabs, get that combo damage, and he can't get reverse edge guarded. Sometimes he'll hit Jigglypuff and uh, basically he'll go for like a reverse back air and just completely change the tide of battle in his favor. So J Jackal has to be very careful. Right now, Base Man doing a good job of putting Jackal back in the corner. Looking for a follow-up on ledge. Finally, he's going to parry that Nair in order to get the grab. That Nair is so hard to contest with just your raw hitboxes because Wolf got heck hella priority on it. Yeah, he needs it, right? <laughs> he does need <laughs> Strong it. Strong back air, good combos on forward air, and a good neutral. Nice bait! Ooh. Really good bait. He hopped off stage, baited out the high recovery, and then hopped right back on because his air acceleration was able to get him there. Kind of a new thing that Base Mitch has been doing. He's been drifting a little bit back. He's just not really approaching. Ah! Not, oh, uh, speaking of approaching, that's not a move you really want to trade with. We're talking about moves that you can trade with. S match is not one of them. You're pretty much gonna. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you're dead. You're dead at fifty, right? Let's be real here. Yeah. But Jackal hasn't been able to get these combo stars. He's been going for a little bit more greedy, aggressive fares, but they haven't been necessarily connecting. And uh, Base Mitch, like this, he's just jumping backwards. I'm just gonna wait for you to come. But now, like I said, this is how you get it started. Now, Base Mitch, kind of a death percent from what we've seen. Yeah, but hey, you get hit by that forward here. You're at death percent now all the time, bro. <laughs> hold so, up, uh oh, uh -oh. Hold on. There's that soft hit in there. Good stuff. He's in that there just to do, do some really good stage pressure. Good stuff. Coming on to drop and getting back on stage. 82%. One of that meaty back here. That was definitely dead. No questions asked at 92%. There's a problem now. He's in the corner. Base mage sizing him up for something. Look for the F smash. Not quite able to get it. Comes back down with an air just jackal. Comes down with another one, puts his base stage in the corner, and the F-Tilt's gonna come through. He has the lead, and he is currently on set point. That move has a lot of range, man. But Earth, what does base mage have to do besides edge guarding to really take this against Jacko right now? He only has one stock left, and he's out this bracket. I mean, first of all, get a forward throw in the corner, like I can say. <laughs> right? I mean, he's at 80%, it sends him super, super far. Away. Oh, reliable, baby. Oh, reliable. If nobody got me, puff forward air, got forward throw got me. Can I get an A, man? Please. Keep it simple, but the actual answer is try to just stop trading with Jackal in these aerials. He's been going for a little bit too much, I feel. But that's kind of a par for the course in this matchup, right? Like, whoever has that lead has to kind of be the one on the defensive. And whenever Jackal had the lead, he's Dad? doing a yeah, really good oh, oh, See ya! See ya! See ya! Go to bed, my Go boy! Bed. Go to bed, my boy! Go to bed, my boy! See ya! We got a game five here! Doing the first game of top eight, baby! Come on now! Come on now! How can you not get excited? So, Arbor, to answer your question, uh, what he needs to do other than edge guard? Up put his rest. ass to sleep. Up put his rest. ass to sleep. Yep, caught him on the platform, tech roll out. There was nothing he could do there. If he tried to get up attack, he would have gotten slept anyway. Jackal was not able to escape that situation. And that's what base mage does. At the moment you least expect it, he constricts, he shuts you down, and then he takes victory. Game five, Pokemon Stadium 2. First set of top eight here at yeah, Major that, Upset. That's the ebb and flow, right? First, Base Mage had to adapt to Jackal. Jackal had all of the advantage going into the Space Mage, adapting his playstyle. Now oh, we get nah. to see if Jackal oh, can no! do the same. Oh, oh no! Apparently not. Oh, no! You're getting oh, four no! In the oh, no! Nah. Not the reverse 3 0. Don't let it be you. Okay, but wait. This is Wolf and this is Jackal, so anything can happen. But Base Mage is not, is not gonna let this shit happen for a free. So Jacko, it's time to tap in, my boy. Uh, the second he gets one of these openers, I think he's gonna be able to take it a long way. I mean, he gets an up throw for the up air. He's been able to do a really good job of extending off of platforms in these particular situations, guys. And right now, he's looking for a falling forward air. He's looking for anything to get those combos started. Force, push Base Mage into the corner and get that back air. He knows his win condition, he's playing for it. And uh, right now, Base Mage knows his. He's like, the second you get over aggressive, I'm gonna swing on you and I'm gonna hit you for it. Yeah, I know these games, it's game five, but these games feel so short. It does not feel like a long span of time has happened because all these kills come from these really, really close of openings. We're seeing one in the making, but doesn't necessarily connect with the jab. Jackal getting his follow up with that Nair into fair, but not necessarily leading into the back air. One back air from the center stage, not gonna kill. One 15% on puff. That's tactic. Right. 
kick him like a soccer ball. Yeah, get that ass out of here. And down there in there is kind of like the foundation for base mage is aggressive, but we all know Jackal with that forward here. Wolf, so good at just lining up that damage. If he can get the same combo that we saw last time, that would be really good. Gets that parry off that soft and neutral air. Good recovery, gonna angle his up special downwards just to hit the ledge and get back on the safety. Don't need to fight back, just get to us. Oh, that, y'all see that? Oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, gets a couple in there. That was good for about 40, 50%, guys. Base Mage right now trying to land. Jackal's gonna let him do so on the platform. Trying to sting him with the back air, but not quite able to do it. There's that forward throw, guys. It's also really hard to catch Jigglypuff when Jackal gets the advantage because of those multiple jumps that she has. Ooh. Oh! oh! Little too overzealous! Little too overzealous, and that will be th the final stop for Base Mage here. Jackal trying to bring this back in his favor. Trying to put Tri-State on the map here in this top eight. I mean, top eight, that's already on the map, but right now, finally, especially from that start, it, it's crazy watching these players that can make it to the top eight. They always somehow, they're down, they have this random X factor, and then suddenly they're, they actually get killed super early, and Jackal pushing, pressing this advantage, and base mage. I like how Jackal's waiting. We saw it earlier, like you said, when he was trying to catch the landing. He just backed away and said, I'm going to reset to neutral because I can't really catch you. In these corner situations, Jackal's You got to come to me. You have to come to me right now, bro. You're the one that's losing with 38%. Yeah, and it's game five. I mean, when base mage didn't lead, he was adopting a similar strategy, but no one plays this long game quite like Jackal does. He is so good at recognizing when his opponent's coming in, when he can use his disjointed attacks, and keep them away, keep getting that extra damage on. The up air's gonna come out, will not kill yet. Face Mage chasing him up into the sky. Oh, that was such a good landing though from Jackal, just making it back safe and sound. And look at the movement on my boy right now. He is not trying to get hit, but he got hit. No problem hitting Face Mage. Dash attack, goes for that laser. Does not want to deal with anything that Face Mage Because he knows one drag off off stage on his last stuff could spell trouble. Because Base Mage has a lot more to take from Jackal than definitely could take from Base Mage. But, all right, final stock situation. Oh, you see him stand up? Yep, this is very Base Mage close. It. We all know how this can go. All this percentage is super important. Whenever, whatever small chip damage that Jackal got with those fares and some of those trades in that his second stock is huge because Puff is just so, so light. Eventually, like he's just throwing out these backers because he gets all the center stage. But right now, Base Mage doing a really good job at making the comeback. It was his game to win, but suddenly it gets stripped from your hands, and now you have to basically play perfectly. You can't get hit by any of these moves in the corner. Nice, I like the Tomahawk. Just threaten the back air, and then sit in this corner. Just go high, just go high, yeah. Oh, he has to go high. Looking for that up air. Would've killed if it hit there. Right now, Base Mage, he's got one thing in his mind. I need one edge guard, I need one rest. One, one, one small nair. Oh, that's but the up that, air, big, that will do it. Uh huh. That big up air that will send the, that. I feel like that was the first time that Jackal kind of chased Base Mage on those landings. Usually, he's kind of more reserved, staying in his place. He's like, I can't necessarily chase you. But when you need the pocket read, you blow it, especially in a game five situation. And Jackal gonna take it. Yeah, and I, I think he conditioned him to do that, right? Um, Base Mage was kind of like, you're not gonna chase me. What? You're, you're, you're not that guy. Jackal said, nope. Yes, I am. Sometimes yeah. I am. <laughs> yes, that, I am. That's the thing about Jackal, man. He is so cerebral. He plays with his win condition. There is not a single wasted movement in his gameplay. Mm -hmm. Every